Hi everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up and install Visual Studio Code on CentOS 7. It's a pretty quick tutorial for this one today, since I'm a little bit sick and I don't really uh, feel like talking for too long, but I want to commit to this weekly project I got going on. So before we get ourselves ahead, let's just get started. So we're going to bring yourself to Terminal. Just keep in mind I'm already logged in as a root admin, or basically I'm on the sudo list as a previous video listed. So I, sh I am able to run sudo commands. So pretty much this whole tutorial, if you're not able to run sudo commands, just look at the other video that I posted last week and you guys should be able to see it. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do to set up is you got to do a few prerequisites and I'll list you guys the, the more specific steps in the description so you guys can like reference it if you ever need it. But first we need to be able to install Visual Studio Code from the repository. In order for us to do that, we actually have to import certain keys from Microsoft because they're the ones who distribute the software. So you're going to be typing sudo dash RPM, you know, space RPM, double dash, import. This will, you know, basically extract the information. And you're going to type this link. This is where the repository for the Microsoft key you're going to be extracting. You're going to be typing HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash packages dot microsoft dot com slash keys slash microsoft dot asc once you get that in it's going to ask you for your password and once it grabs it it should verify with you that everything is good but if nothing's showing up for you like i said follow the instructions on how to add yourself to the pseudo list in the other video but anyway let's continue on once you got that key imported, you're going to have to create a, a repository file in order for you to be able to actually install. So you're going to be typing this command, sudo nano forward slash, let me if I could spell it right, forward slash etsy forward slash yum, which is what CentOS uses for packages install, repos.d forward slash vs code dot repo. So you're going to be editing a file. And I'm going to be showing you guys how it's done. All right. Once you're in Nano, you're going to basically be co posting content into it. So we're going to be typing in code name equal. Let me make sure if I can spell this right. Visual Studio Code base URL. If I could spell it, I'm just off today. I apologize forward slash packages dot microsoft mike dot com slash yum repo slash vs code then enabled we're going to set it to your variable one g group policy check that's how i think of it you're going to set it to one then you're going to set it again to your group repository key you're going to equal this to the same similar link packages.microsoft.com slash keys slash microsoft.asc just like what we had pre previously imported that way you're able to keep the file so that's all you need you're then going to save finish this control c afterwards you're good I'm going to exit and you're going to modify with yes. You're going to save it as the file that we listed it before. File name to write and you're going to press enter and you should be good to go. Once that's been enabled, we're now going to actually be able to install it with the yum command. So sudo yum install code. And that will extract it. It's going to ask you if you're okay with it. Go right ahead. It's just going to go through the prompts, you know, standard stuff. But yeah, um, essentially what we did was added the key, imported it, created a file where it could reference it by adding that text, which I'll post it on the description for you guys to see. And then, you know, basically calling it to install. So that way you have like a 
a link set to where to download the packages. Basically, it's going to connect to the web, grab the packages, bring it down to you, and you're going to install your software. It's pretty much what it essentially does. So after that, I'm just going to clear out all this junk. And in, to make sure you actually ran Visual Studio Code or make sure it works, you just type code. And you should be prompted with Visual Studio Code. And then after that, it's almost essentially the same as you're familiar with on Windows or on Mac. But just the process is a little different, so you always have to tweak it. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have a good night, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.